I look absolutely ridiculous. I've got the cat, but I've also got the dog today. Last time I did this, I only had the cat. Today I've got the dog on the lead as well. She just had a poo. I realised halfway up the road he was with us again, so I've now got to try and work out how I'm going to pick up this poo, hold on to the dog, and hold on to the cat at the same time. There's a man coming, I might have to ask him. <laughs> We're home. <laughs> And also the bit that I was um oh, the bit that I was filming, there was a man watching me as well. So I don't know. I think I've already got a bit of a reputation, haven't I? I've got even more of one now, haven't I, Doug? Oh dear. Look. Don't can you see it? Don't let the cat out, no matter what it tells you. Right. I don't know if I told you this, but when I come over here, when I posted um, a picture of Doug in our local group saying, don't worry about him, he's fine. There was a woman um said, my daughter sees him every day and she calls him oldie. Well, he's up the window now underneath his picture. And I just heard a little girl go past and she went, oh, look, it's oldie. <laughs> it's because you're an old man. Oldie. Oh, I like that name. You're Grandad, aren't you? Grandad Doug. Oh, somebody asked whether he has ever had any babies and whether he could possibly be a Grandad. No, he couldn't. I've had him um, from a six-week-old kitten and I paid money to make sure that he couldn't ever be a dad. He'd have been a nice dad, though, and a nice Grandad. Well, he has been a nice dad and granddad to all the other animals that are bought in the house. You've always been kind, haven't you? Come on. Come on. He's cross. I won't let him out today. <laughs> Maybe a bit later. I don't know. I just think it's a bit cold for an old man to be out at the minute. Although it's not that cold, but I'd rather keep him in. He's cross. He keeps giving me filthy looks. Come on over here. Come on. Oh, he's coming. Come on, oldie. Come on, oldie. That's your name. Come on. Here he goes. Lovely. We're going to have a cuddle. I might read a bit of my book. I always fall asleep, though, when I get like this. I nearly finished my book, Doug, haven't I? Oh, can you hear him? Lovely noise. Right, we're going to have a cuddle. I'll see you later. I'm a bit scared. I'm now going on my first ever run by myself. It's such a nice day. I can't stop thinking about it. And I'm cooking a roast dinner tonight, so that's quite a full-on afternoon job so I'd rather just get it done and then get home and get my work done. Well I'm gonna start running. It'll be alright won't it? It's just this first time it'll feel a bit weird. Well I'm off. Oh well it's alright actually by myself. It's not too bad at all. I might run back so don't go over to the scary bit, which is over there, by myself. So I think I'm going to run back and then run halfway up here again. And then that should be about five, five kilometres. It's okay. I'll do it by myself again. Right, back. Time to go back. I'm back. And I've decided I mustn't go by myself again. It was all right, but on the way back, come on, Doug, I stopped and spoke to two people and had two 20-minute conversations. So I didn't really run it all in one go today. Lillian knows I've been touching another dog. I even sat on the floor with the dog. I'm sure it still counts, though, doesn't it, surely? I might go out and do it again. That was quite nice. 
What's the time? Have I got time? I might go back out quickly. <laughs> I think I'll go too. Right. Well, I'm back. Oh. So today I would have done six. I just didn't feel like I'd done anything when I got back the first time. But I will now, won't I? Oh. Do you know what? It's the best day ever. It's the nicest weather. Look at the sky. Oh. Right, I'm going to go back. Let's just hope I don't see anybody I know this time. Hello. I went for two runs. Now, what's the date today? Today is the 21st. So that means I've been on 23 runs on the trot. Sorry I didn't come and see you for the last few days. I, um... I just needed to get a load of work done, which I have done. I've made quite a few bags now. And I'm just finishing off some, um, I'm making some lovely big quilted Liberty bags now. With all beautiful different colours. Ian sat over there looking magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. I'll see if he will come over to see us. Hang on. He doesn't really like to be picked up, but maybe if he sees himself. Look, who's this? He's so big. He's giant. I don't know if it's because I'm used to picking up Doug, but he is half British short hair, so it is in his genes to be quite a big cat. And I hope that's what they're going to say at the vets when I take him in October for his health check and vaccinations. Hopefully I won't get told off. I didn't last time. They just said, well, he is, you know, he's going to be a naturally big cat. Right, I'm going to stitch all these together and I'm going to quilt them and then, oh, so I've had these leeks and onion and some potatoes and a recipe book. You saw them the other day and I've been moving them from my cooker to another part of the kitchen and then I'll move them back, then I'll move them away and I've been just been going backwards and forwards with these leeks. I just can't be bothered to make the soup. But maybe I will tonight because I'm going to cook a roast dinner for everybody's tea tonight. So maybe I'll do it tonight. But I, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just not in the mood for it. I feel a bit tired now. I um, ran into a lady who... Um, whose son went to school with Johnny and Meg, so it was really nice to see her and her dog. And then I ran into another lady. Oh, it's my card. I've been looking for that. Then I ran into another lady. There's two cards here. What's this one? Oh. Um, who used to have two dogs, and now she's only got one, and I was worried that something horrible had happened, but it hadn't. She just had to... Um, she was fostering it, so it's got home. Right, I'm going to make a cake tonight because I'm cooking a roast dinner. I feel like making, because I've got some lemons in my veg box, I think I might make, um, I quite often make the Nigella syrup, lemon syrup cake I think it's called. I've made that a few times, but the problem is... It's not very good for the first two days. It just crumbles. You have to leave it in a cake tin for two days and then eat it. That's I don't think she advises that. That's just something I've learnt from experience of making it quite a few times. So I'll just have to see if I can uh, if I've got the willpower to leave it alone. I've made some Halloween bags. I've never made Halloween bags before, but I had this idea. And I just couldn't stop thinking about it, so I did it. But I'll show you those maybe later, maybe another day. I've got my, sh my shop update is on Saturday. What's the date on Saturday? Okay. Oh, I've got my calendar here. I never look at this one for the date. 23rd of September. 
the 21st, do you remember? The 21st night of September. Do you remember that, Ian? I love that song. Well, I've got to get on. I'll see you later. Cool. Look what James has brought me home. This is uh, my favourite brand of donuts, if it's possible to have a favourite brand. I've never had one I don't like. Uh, this one is a caramel brownie. And look, goes off tomorrow. So I think I'd better get it out of the way. We don't want any health hazards, do we, in the house? We've already got the animals. <laughs> I'm now going to fill my little salt pots up. Well, they're actually salt and pepper pots. But we're not big ones for pepper, really. So I fill them both up with salt. I just thought I'd show them to you because I think they're ever so cute. They're little um, Humpty Dumpties. They're sweet, aren't they? I bought them off of eBay. I got obsessed with Humpty Dumpties once. And this was the product of one of those obsessive moments. <laughs> oh, look, here's my vegetables. <laughs> I've been eating all, nearly all them already. I had to chop up some more. Aren't they sweet though? I bet you're all thinking whatever she's showing us that for. I've come upstairs to say goodnight. Look at all those hairbands. People always say, have you got a hairband? Cool, I'm a bit tired. I have overdone it today, but that's all right. You're supposed to be tired, aren't you, when you go to bed? I was just thinking about Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> And I read somewhere that he's, ne he's never ever described as an egg. Isn't that funny? There weren't a picture with the nursery rhyme. That's just, I suppose, oh, I don't know what I'm on about. Anyway, but oh, I'm tired. We're watching Married at First Sight at the moment, which I, I really enjoy. So I'm looking forward to watching that tonight. What am I doing tomorrow? I've got to finish off some teddy bears. I'm making some um, witchy trick or treat in bears. So I'm going to finish off those tomorrow. I've got to go and have a, I haven't got to, but I'm going to have a cup of tea with my friend Peter. Uh, so I'll take something round there to work on whilst I'm sitting gassing with him. Do, do you say that? Gassing? And then mum will come along and take the children. We well, say they're children, but they're not. They are, are they? Are they? Well, they're, the big ones are 17. But they still really like going around her house. I think that she like makes them like toast and things whenever they want it and like puts loads of butter on. They can have toast whenever they want it round here, but I don't make it for them. Um yeah, I think she just spoils them so she they like going around there. She didn't spoil me when I was little. Um Oh I've got a dryer coming on Saturday. I am so excited. I cannot wait. And I've bought, I haven't, James has bought me a, a kit so that I can put the tumble dryer, so he can put the tumble dryer, on top of a washing machine. I'm ever so excited about that. Oh, whilst I haven't been around, I still have been running every day and I filmed a little bit every day as well. And I'll put that at the end. Not that anyone's interested in that, but I just thought I'd do it as proof that I have done it every day. So I've done that. Well, that's going to be boring if you watch that, isn't it? Skip it. But I just put, I just thought I'd put it in to say, to prove I've done it. Uh, oh, I don't know. Boring, aren't I? I'll see if I can show... Well, I definitely can show you my things that I'm, I've been making. I'll show them tomorrow.
right I'm gonna go and make her a cup of coffee and oh I didn't make that cake so I got James to get me some eggs from the shop when he went to meet Lizzie and I thought that was all I needed but I haven't got any butter so I'm, I haven't been able to make it so I'll have to make that tomorrow and I didn't make the soup either I think the soup will be a good thing to make before the weekend because then James will help me eat it because no one will eat it otherwise apart from me in the week right I'm off and I don't I don't really freeze a lot of stuff I haven't got room for it and I forget about stuff so there's no point right I'm off quite moaned a lot today haven't I right see you tomorrow everybody bye oh good morning everybody I'm here with my friend we're doing a 5k this morning we've just re reached our look see that's definitely not fake it's moving we've just reached our this stick here means we've done 2.5 so we're now going to turn round I told a lie to Lizzie the other day I told her that was a waterfall <laughs> and it had to be switched on right let's get back oh, it's our first cold and dark run today it's 25 past 6 and I tell you what I love it shaking up Oh, it's lovely. I'd like to go a bit further, but we've got to go back and make sure Lizzie's got out of bed. Right, let's go. Woo! Oh, it's windy today. Let me see what the time is. Oh, it's only 6.25, James. We got here quick. Oh, um, I don't think we were going to be able to do it today because the, the weather forecast says black wind boat is still there and it is very windy but we've run into it on the way here so now we're going to have it pushing us back right have a lovely day see you later hi Doug. oh 